I just hit the connect button yeah. and uh, I think it started. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so um, welcome. <laughs> so um, today uh, we're going to host uh, uh, this live interview with uh, Harrison, Hunter, and Thomas, who just really uh, who, who are just going to release their new film, um, uh, 27 minutes surf film called Respect Your Mom uh, on Nobody Surf YouTube channel. So, uh, so welcome. Um, uh, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thanks for having us. And yeah. uh, thanks for giving us a platform to share our new longboarding vid. Yeah, thanks. And um, yeah, thank you so much for choosing, choosing us. And, um, uh, you know, uh, I, wa I wanted to host this uh, short live interview session to celebrate this release. Um, so, uh, uh, can you quickly introduce uh, you, uh, yourself to our viewers around the globe? Uh, maybe Harrison, can you start with it? Uh, yeah, so I'm Harrison Roach. Um, I'm a surfer and among other things, uh, <laughs> different things from Noosa Heads in Australia. Um, yeah, I'm 33 and happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Hunter, please. Yeah, so I'm Hunter Berko. Um, I'm a photographer and yeah, videographer, I guess as well. Work for <laughs> work with Thomas. Um, been working for him for I think about four years now. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm Harry's neighbor, which is why we're together. <laughs> <and> Thomas, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are in uh, Harry's yes. house, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so oh, you, you guys live next to each other? Yeah, that's my house. Just uh, it's actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Thanks, uh, Thomas. Please. Um, Thomas Baxon. I'm also live in Nosa and shape surfboards, basically among responding to emails and answering the phone and all the other stuff. But yeah, surfboard shaper. Great, great, great. Thanks. So uh, let's get into uh, this new film. So um, so maybe I, uh, I can sh uh, share a screen of the, the cover shot. Yeah. So yeah, so w when did you guys come up uh, with the idea and uh, how long did it take uh, uh, for filming and editing and uh, finishing it up? Ages. <laughs> nah. I think I um I hit up Thomas with the idea um just based on the fact that he has so many fantastic surfers that ride his surfboards and uh, we never really like created you know with Thomas surfboards um I've been involved in the brand for a long time now but we never really created a, a feature length surf film um and just knowing how many people around the world we had riding the boards, I thought it would be a really cool opportunity to do it. Um, in the end, that's not how the project turned out. It turned out to be a really locally focused project. Mm -hmm. um, and basically it was shot just like last, last year through our little surf season from probably from like uh, March on to uh, yeah. August. Okay. And and then it just kind of sat there and we weren't sure what to do with it because we still had expectations about getting footage from other people from around the world. Mm. Um, and then that didn't happen and we we sort of like reflected on it and, and looked back through what Hunter and I had accumulated with our friends here and with Thomas and there was more than enough to make a really fun project and mm. in some ways. I thought it like worked out better than ever making something that was really new to focus because it's also where the the brands from. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this film, um, there are many uh, you know surf uh, surfers, and and also um I, I wanted to um learn about the waves because uh uh you said you shot it on in Nusa area, but the all the waves look real different. You know, even the colors and uh, you know, for example, this one. And, and and this one really looks different. And uh, like, how many locations did you um actually shoot uh, uh shot shot them? Uh, what is that? Like, a couple of different points. 
Tree National Park slash Little Cove, uh, the groin, uh, castaways and castaways, I think. Mm, okay. <laughs> Great. So it's it's like March oh, to <laughs> March to August. Is 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 it like the best season in Nusa, or uh, wh which season do you recommend for the for our viewers to um actually that's visit? Kind of like, <clears throat> that's probably the most consistent time of year. Like you get the end of the point season, March, April, May, and then. June, July, August, like winter on the beaches with the offshore wind. So it's probably, you know, the best few months compared to spring, like, you know, September, November mm. time. It's pretty average. Well, not as yeah. good. And okay. even summer, summer we get we get really good waves. We have cyclone season starts basically okay. in December. Uh, so yeah. we can get like all time swells, but it's mm. probably just less consistent. Okay, okay, yeah, that's great. Uh, is there crowded. any any uh, uh, great waves for sh uh, short board short borders too, or like uh, does it really depend on the conditions? There absolutely is good waves for short borders. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah totally. Great. Yeah. yeah it's like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, the rocks at the point breaks are on the peaches. Like, mm. It just any, wasn't our purpose for this project. Yeah, okay. any of the waves, places in this movie, when, when, the, when it's bigger, it's good mm. for a short board. It's just this, is, I guess, shot on the smaller days where it suits the long board. Mm. Okay, okay, great. Great to learn that. Yeah, thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, and also like after you completed this film, um, you, you did a like a kind of like a world premiere, right, around the globe. Um, you said you did it in how many countries? Um, so we we the first premiere we did was at Noose Heads, uh, the mm. Thomas Factory, which was um, you know, when we kind of last minute put the put the project together, mm. um, because we have an annual party every year. Okay. Uh, it's in conjunction with the Noosa Festival of Surfing. It's probably like the the most fun sort of social, cultural night of the festival. Um, and we showed it there. But after that, I think we went to the a showing in Brazil, a showing in New Zealand, oh, showing in uh, where else, like the United States, Bali. So we kind of tripped around, but it's not like we went to those places necessarily just for this project it's just that we were traveling anyway and okay. it was a good excuse to just share it because we were, we were in the place. right yeah how, how was it like a reaction from all, all all those places um yeah really positive i think but I, I guess people are always going to be positive when they talk to me about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. they're always yeah. nasty if nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so the, do you guys like I, travel, I travel? yeah yeah and uh, do you guys like travel a lot as a t like a, as a crew like uh as thomas uh surfboard crew or we haven't tended to but this year like thomas and i have got to travel a lot together mm. um we did do a trip earlier this year with actually with our little team of surfers like a, a part of our team mm. um which was really really fun it was the first like team trip we ever really oh, did okay. We're, yeah, that, um, we're hoping we can do a little more of it in the future, but you know, it's like mm. everything costs a lot of money. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. The surfboard brand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and you mentioned about your crew, and uh I really want to uh learn about your community. You know, uh there were many scenes in your um in this movie uh featuring your crew. And uh this one is is this like uh your factory? Yeah, so yeah. that's kind yeah. of out out the front. Yeah. Okay. On the kind of corner of that's not our actually our factory, the building behind it. We're kind of okay. just next door. But yeah, it's like um sort of out the front of the the building that we're in. Yeah, and, and uh and I really like this uh this scene too. And uh and also oh, look, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. This is a factory, right? Yeah, so that's inside yeah. um, the laminating room. That's, yeah. that's Connor. Yeah, I really <laughs> like this guy. <laughs> yeah. It was oh, cool. Yeah. Connor, Connor came with us on the trip we did to mm. Indonesia earlier this year, like the sort of team trip that Harry mentioned. Connor came on. He's also a really good surfer as well. Really mm. good goose putter. Okay. Uh, is he going to be in the film in, in the future? Yeah, I think he'll, um, you might see his head pop up in something that will come out at some point. Okay, oh, that's that's great. And and also, <laughs> um, there, uh, yeah, can you uh, talk about this scene too? Uh, uh, are so they yeah, on a, a few times a year, we get the whole team together, kind of like a, I guess, for lack of a better word, it's like a team building exercise mm -hmm. where we kind of spend the day going through the, the business and how it all works and, you know, strengths, weaknesses, and everyone kind of gets a say in what what gets brought, put forward as to things to work on or mm. things that we're good at and stuff. So, we, yeah, a few times a year everyone gets together. So that was a cool shot to have, every, you know, the whole greater family, yeah. from, you know, people that work one or two days a week in the office or, you know, doing something. Mm. through yeah every everyone shop shop staff surfboard builders the the whole team oh that's great like how many of you guys are there like as, as a as a whole team like i think i think all up now there's nearly 30 people it's like oh, 25 okay. plus like so, so it's like a big, big family <laughs> Yeah. that's like working in the in the factory and retail mm. and office space oh, okay it? And if you were to extend that to like team riders, it's a whole nother. Mm. There's, there's a lot more. I think oh, I, okay. I'm just gonna like butt in. I think it's one of the greatest things that Thomas has done with building this brand is that a big part of building the brand has been building a community. And that's mm. like really, it's to me really obvious. Like, mm. and I think maybe like a draw card for like for others when they, they look from afar too. It's pretty pretty authentic the way he's gone about it but anyway i'll stop blowing wind up thomas <laughs> yeah yeah so uh yeah you, you mentioned a really good point and uh about the community um yeah from from this uh surf film um respect your mom i, I felt uh, a lot of uh like uh the kind of family vibes and uh and also i i i saw a lot of like a 60 millimeter scene that kind of felt uh, make, makes the viewers feel nostalgic kind of like uh was there like a, any intention to um use that kind of camera uh uh maybe it's a question to hunter um do you like using that kind of a uh, camera to like ex express what you want to uh, show to your viewers um yeah so that i feel like well first yeah it's actually an eight mil um oh eight mil okay yeah not better than that is, but um yeah i feel like that was kind of um like Harry's, I guess, idea to to shoot a lot of um of the new sort like landscape scenes on the eight mm. mil. Um, I think for the, I think the real yeah. deal is like Hunter shot all the really beautiful like quality footage, mm. and then I shot all the stuff that like is more of a point and shoot style, like oh, okay. a mini DV cam or a super eight. Like it's a little more simple, like with your approach. So mm. like. I'm not like a professional videographer or, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to use like Hunter's beautiful cameras. I just, I just don't, but I know how to frame stuff up. So the Super 8, yeah, it feels really nostalgic for one that yeah. ways is like, a, it's always got an amazing tone and feel like film. Mm. You just won't it. Nothing ever matches that. I think just the, the tone mm. of it, but, but also it was just easier yeah. for, for me to okay. do it. When Hunter was away or something like, and uh, you know, it couldn't be available to shoot. Um, mm. I I use those formats because that was kind of the easiest <laughs> for me to do. Right, and right. To everybody for the um, out of focus shots, which of which there are many. <laughs> it just adds okay. a really nice feel and yeah to the film as well. I think you know, it just it gives a personal touch. You know, it mm. makes it feel like 
your home video that you've shot on your, you know, you know that your parents shot on a handy cam when you were a kid. Mm. It just gives that that warmth of a personal touch to something. Right, right, yeah. Can I ask a bit more about the creative, uh, like process of uh, on this film? So, so it's it's a film uh, by Harrison and Hunter and and both of you. And uh, so you guys both film and also both edited this film, and uh, you kind of kind of co-directed it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, is is it like how you guys work together uh, recently? And uh, and also, you I I heard that you have a lot of like new projects coming. So uh, is it like co-directed uh, stuff uh, more coming in the future? Yeah, for sure. So Hunter first came on at Thomas Surfboards like more like he's a photographer, I would say. Um, and my work over the last like decade and a half almost has always been in in film and photography. And I've never really been I've directed a few things, but like always had a pretty heavily heavy involvement in the projects I've been involved in, whether that's editing or writing or coming up with concepts or whatever it is. But I've also worked with like a lot of the best filmmakers in the business. Mm, yeah. Um, and whether that's to do with like, you know, DPs or directors, it, like it's kind of the full mm. film scene basically. And um, Hunter was really keen and like we've been working together basically since he started it thomas on scrubbing up but he's now kind of like with this project and even since then i feel like kind of eclipsed me a little bit <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe he's gonna take more of a leading role and i'll like sort of settle back into the background but um for sure it's been a really fun thing like working with hunter and seeing his uh skill level progress but yeah he just released or just about to release a project he did all, all on his own called cold feet mm -hmm. in new zealand which is super rad and um yeah really proud of like how good he's doing these days yeah, yeah. that that film uh was epic you know how <laughs> you guys shared the film with us and uh yeah i i can't wait for the release yeah and uh yeah we we hope we can release it on nobody soon too <laughs> yeah yeah, thank you. And uh, and yeah, uh, maybe uh, I wanna um, do you wanna like uh mention uh about the surfboards in this film? Um, because there were so many uh models uh that Thomas shaped, and uh, do you wanna pick up some of them and uh, introduce them to our viewers? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of hard with surfboards there's i think to be honest we make too many different models of longboard <laughs> you know especially it's just you know it's never ending you constantly can you know keep changing designs a little amount to, you know is it a new model or do you, you know you just keep evolving something and can get a little bit almost confusing at times because you end up with too many different surfboards um but yeah, I think well that one you got up the keeper 2.0. That's kind of, I guess it's a variation on on the the keeper, which is a model that's been around for like eight years or something. I think mm. yeah today, um, which is a you know slightly new version of that model with a few a few different tweaks to the rail and the the concave and the tail width and stuff like that, just to make a user friendly log that will kind of go good in any any kind of conditions a little bit more than the original keeper which was you know sort of a little bit more tuned for lined up point wave whereas mm. the 2.0 we kind of just wanted to make it a little bit more approachable when the surf isn't as good you know not everyone's surfing perfect waves so to just mm. try and adapt that model a little bit to make it user friendly in more everyday conditions okay um so uh where uh how can we buy the sport uh if you're not in australia um if you're in indonesia we've got a shop in bali yeah. um in in the us we have like an online store that you can either there's a few stock boards on available online or you can mm -hmm. place a custom order um 
Japan, we have a few retail different stores across Japan that stock our boards. Um, UWL in France stock the boards okay. down the line in the UK. Um, and then obviously, yeah, through our store in Noosa and then online mm. in Australia or custom order, we kind of, it's been crazy the last few years, the places around the world where we've ended up shipping surfboards to like Dubai, Sweden, mm. sort of, they've ended up going everywhere. It's been pretty wild. Great. Uh, so you ship worldwide too from Australia? Yeah, we've done a lot of shipping mm. kind of here, there and everywhere. Sometimes you almost feel like you're running a freight business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's great. Okay, okay. So um, I think um, the premiere of Respect Your Mom will start in seven minutes. So maybe uh, we should wrap, wrap wrap up um this interview and um, um. So uh, so can can you uh have some words to our viewers around the globe and uh, uh yeah, maybe Harrison, please. Oh yeah, well, uh, whoever's watching, I hope you really enjoy it. If you do watch it, um, respect your mum's just like a, a tagline that Thomas Surfboards has been running with, based on you know his upbringing and the fact that they're words to live by, basically. Um, but the surf video, it's a longboarding video. It's 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 simple. Uh, I think it's kind of effective. It's mm. an example of. The surfing that's been done on longboards in Noosa by us and our friends, and it's a celebration of um, longboard culture and Thomas Surfboard's design. So, yeah, I hope you really enjoy it. Thanks to Hunter, thanks to Thomas and uh, everyone at Thomas Surfboards for allowing us to create projects like this because there's, there's probably not enough being made, I would say, and that, that's kind of what inspired us to do it. So hopefully some yeah. kids will watch I it. I think it's cool to kid. see something other than, you know, everything so short and fast and, you know, mm. Instagram reels and mm. digestible and just churned out. So it's kind of cool to be a part of something that feels a little bit more special like you know I grew up watching VHS surfing videos that you'd watch over and over again and you'd have your favorite sections with the the song you like to amp up to go you know get you motivated to go for a surf and stuff so it's cool to kind of I feel like it's a little bit of a throwback to that where it's you know not just making something that's going to go on social media that goes for a minute and feels a little bit longer lasting and stoked to have these guys help and do a project like this yeah I, I yeah we can really relate to that and uh it's our pleasure to uh, host this film and so let's enjoy the uh premiere then um thank you so much for your time today and uh yeah hope you guys enjoy the premiere too <laughs> okay so <laughs> let's enjoy it yeah thank you, thank you so much yeah, yeah thanks yeah. nobody's laughing everyone